The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Technician's Hour on this 22nd day of April. My pleasure to be here. This is the 808 edition. It'll be replayed this afternoon at 1208. So let me give you the uh, what the futures are doing because it's not uh, the session hasn't started yet officially. So we've got the Dow closing last week at 26,559. The all-time high is 26,951. So 400 points away from that. Uh, will it get there now or does it need a breather? My, my, at this particular point, I think it needs a breather. It's right in what we call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the, in the Dow um, at the, from the closing price of Friday. Close right on the, the top part of the line. It's a fabulous weekly chart, V-shaped pattern, but hasn't made the all-time high of 26,951. In leg C, the MACD's good, stochastic's good. My suspicion is we're in for a little bit of a pullback here, and I'll show you what I mean. The YM, which is the futures, trading at uh, 8.07 this morning, Eastern Time, is down 75 points at 26,491. This is leg E in the daily chart. And to me, I think that it doesn't have to be a big pullback, but maybe it's time more than price kind of building some energy for another move to the upside. So the Dow can follow the, ND, the NDX 100. Let me show you what I mean. S&P and the Dow have failed to make all-time highs, but are really close. The S&P closed at 29.05 on a Friday. The all-time high is 29.40, 35 points, so 350 Dow points. 400 points in the Dow, and the S&P could, could do it just in, within two days. I think there's a bit of a breather right here. If you look at the MACD, it's turned down. It's still quite good, but it has turned down. The stochastic's very good at 90%. So I'm saying that the uh, support on the S&P is 2884. That's going to be very important. Uh, the first support is the nine period moving average of 28, is that 95, 90, 99? So uh, it's pretty close to testing that one. It did that on Friday and then bounced off it. My suspicion is we go underneath the 14 period moving average and then we'll start to rebuild some strength. That's why I'm looking at it there. If you look at the QQQ, the NDX 100, trading down 70 cents right now at 186.69, made an all time high of 100 and I didn't update that, 187.93. Let me get that. 180. 7.93 all-time high. Uh, it did that uh, with very good technicals, but the MACD is just dipping a little bit. Stochastic still very strong at 95%. That's why I'm saying I think it's more a breather than anything else. And the weekly chart is a fabulous leg C at an all-time high. I don't know what this uh, is. If this is a brand new leg A in the monthly chart, in the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for at least a D. <laughs> that means you've got to buy every single dip. If it's a G, it means be a little careful here. I don't have to make any decision right now. We don't have any position. I'm looking at this as a benchmark together with the XLK, which is the uh, select S&P Select Tech Spider Fund trading at 77.82 uh, at all-time high yesterday, uh, Friday. And I hope everyone had a good uh, uh, festive season uh, over the weekend, either Passover or Easter. We're looking at, uh, this is telling me that the XLK will be a kind of a benchmark because it's only in a leg B to the upside in the weekly. That's really positive. So I suspect that the 76 area is going to be key support to hold if it breaks that to the downside. Probably testing 74. There are a whole bunch of gaps. The gap that I'm thinking if they, uh, I wouldn't say worst case basis, you never know about that. But it's really 74.30 on the 1st of April to the 29th of March, high 74.803. So that's kind of the area that I'd be looking at. Three points, not a big deal, 4-5% pullback. If it's going to do that, this is the opportunity right now. 
fabulous move in the XLK. Now, this is going to be uh, very important. If you look at the IWM, IWM is the laggard, and it's down 38 cents right now at 155.26. Made a peak E, a recovery high, not even close to the all-time high, but made a recovery high of 158.16 on the 12th of April. All-time highs, 173.39. So not everything is in sync. You've got real leadership and real uh, uh, we're going to call it a failure pattern. This is still pretty good for the IWM, Russell 2000, but real laggards. Okay, now this is going to be important. What happens with the SMHs? SMHs together with the XLK, I think that's our clue. Down just 33 cents right now at 117.40. Just two days ago, it hits an all-time high of 118.83. I'm looking at this and I'm saying fabulous action but a little overboard, and I'm suggesting that there's a pullback between the 114 to 113 area possible. If it gaps down, uh, I don't think it's going to do that, but let's just say it gaps down below the low of the 17th. That was Thursday, which would be under 116.89. Now, I don't see how it's going to do that, but if it did that, there would be an island reversal and suggest that the timeout could go down towards the um, 113s, in fact. But we'll go one step at a time. Now, this is going to be very important because gold is having a very nice move today. So far, it's up 4.7 at 1280. Hit a low with a, a doji candle on Friday. The stochastic's trying to rally off the 7% level. That's really poor. That's like 93% is so positive on the upside in the stochastic. Under 10% is not good at all. Um, so 7% says, yep, there's some strength here, not enough. I'm looking at the weekly chart and that trend line that held so far says that at any point this week, if there is even, doesn't have to be a close, if there's a touch of the 1271 level, you start to test this really important Chapman Wave inside track propellant support line. You start to close under that. That MACD is already negative. Stochastic is very negative at 13% in the weekly. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, 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 let's watch this very closely. Look at silver. Silver is uh, up 0.04 right now at 15. Uh, it's a better chart formation because it's had five days to rally, but it's still very poor. Weekly chart, well, the weekly chart says it needs to close about 15.20 on the shorter term just to establish a little bit of an uptrend, but 15.45 would be very good. Let's see what happens this week with silver. Let's go to um, uh, the, the dollar index, which has had a lovely run, and it had it failed to make a new recovery high at 97.53, um, and it, it had a high of 97.49 just three days ago, trading at 97.34. This weekly chart is suggesting that there is just enough strength to try to get to the 97. 72 or higher level. That'll be so important because it makes a leg C in the monthly chart, a monthly chart. And that huh, first time we've had uh, a move that's taking the, the monthly chart to a leg B, let alone a C. So that's going to be very positive action. Meantime, there's tremendous support at 97.20. I wouldn't like to see it go back to 96.90 in this particular phase right now before it breaks into 97.53s or higher. So this is Basil Chapman doing the early edition, early morning edition. It'll be recorded and played back at noon. And the futures, the Dow futures are down 82. S&P futures are down 9. I'll be right back after these important messages. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at tfnn.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the early morning edition that's being recorded to be played at noon. So you'll be hearing this at 12.18 if you're coming in for my usual time slot. Yes, that e mini e did a couple of things in Chapman Wave. We're always looking for at least a PD on the upside if there's a buy signal to buy mode. Yep, the 10 minute did that. They're very nicely. There's your first PD just before 10 uh, last night, and then it pulls back. This does another rally, and it goes to an E, and then it pulls back. And then there was that sudden pullback at about nine ish last night. Bam! It comes down and then it forms a rectangle pattern. You know what my rule is? The rule of thumb is rectangle pattern can last a lot longer than your patience. And lo and behold, it took right up until now at 8.20 in the morning to break this base of support that started off at 9.40. So that's nine, yeah, 9.40 to 20 to 10 last night. And uh, yeah, we are below it. This is important because the next key support level will be a 28.9850. We're at 28.9975 right now, and then comes quite an important one at 28.95. So, uh, so for my subscribers to my opening call, we have a lot of long positions. They've done very, almost all of them have done very nicely. Now I'm saying, be be ready for some kind of a pullback uh, for some short-term traders, swing traders. I've said take some profits at some point uh, over the last couple of days, but. I, I, I like these positions. I like to hold them a little longer. So to ameliorate that, we've actually taken some sector shorts this morning for the very first time. Uh, we'll see if that's going to work out. But I feel I do feel comfortable. All, all the analysis I did over the many, many charts uh, by to this morning for my subscribers, I started over the weekend. I must have sent out maybe uh, 12, 14 charts. I don't remember. Um, and they're all explaining and describing right now the same setup. And the setup is that if you look at the various indices, and if you look at a number of stocks, they've done really, let me just, I haven't even looked at this one over the weekend, UTX. Look at this, UTX, a fabulous move. And it's just gone with a little doji candle Thursday and then another move to the upside Friday. It's at a point where it could start to have a little digestive formation right here. It's done fabulously, going from 100 to 138, uh, 137 on Friday. Yeah, just needs a little bit of a breather. So there are so many, so, and in the big sector, the sectors that um, I'm looking at, for instance, uh, if you go to 
what was I showing uh, my son yesterday? Um, yeah, if you're looking at something like MKTX, is that what was there? And is that correct? Am I going to be able to get there? Okay. But if you go through, yeah, there it is. Look, MKTX, Market Access Holdings. Now, look at this. That just a spectacular move. December is trading in the 172 area, 173. Now it's almost 100 points higher at 263, all-time high. Look at this. I got it as a leg D. I wouldn't be surprised if this is recycled. This is really just a leg B right now. Market Access, MKTX. There are just so many of these charts that have done spectacularly there needs a breather that's all looking for new new a new chance to start to enter on the long side meantime just for those traders i think some of the short side in, in certain sectors i don't see uh, in terms of strategy i don't think that's wrong right now we'll see by the end of the day all right i want you to also show you something that's important look high grade copper High grade copper is down today, it's down 0.01 at 2.90. It's had a high level consolidation in the lower range, right on the 200 period moving this orange line right here, the 200 period exponential moving average. Remember daily, weekly, monthly, 120 minute chart, oh, that just disappeared. Um, that's important. Why? Because it means it's holding and hugging the 200 period moving average, which is really important in the Daily in the weekly chart, it's above the nine, just above the nine, the green line right there, and the black line is the 14 period exponential moving average. MACD's good stochastics, good at 82 percent. Looks like it might be ready just for a little bit of a dip under 80 percent. So, I'm looking at this very importantly because together with wood, this is international, wood is the global timber and forestry ETF. Look how nicely it went over the 200 period moving average finally after getting smashed from 88 to 55. It has a really good bounce, it goes to the 65 area. Now it's trading at 63. It looks to me like it do a little testing of 63. I want to see the global timber and forestry ETF with the global copper start to move much higher together with the FXI, which is the China uh, iShares large cap ETF. Look, all time high 54 round number back in January of 2018. Kind of drops a little bit, goes to 38 double bottom has a really good rally to 45, and this is going to be very important. Can China, this 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 large, big cap, uh, iShare ETF, work its way towards even the high of May, May a year ago? Is that June? Yeah, that's June. June, the week of the 8th, where it was at. 47, 48, something in the 48 area, 48, 93 to be exact. That's three points higher. Um, if it can do that over the next six weeks, I'm giving you a whole lot of time, six weeks, even if it has a consolidation into there, it's 45, 73 right now, well, 45, 11, because it's down 62 cents pre-market. If it can hold above 44 to 43 support in that area, it could have another big move to the upside. So I think a hiatus right now, a little breather, getting ready for uh, maybe another big move. I think it's that's good. Now, what if I'm wrong? There isn't a pullback. What if the Dow trading right now at 26,559 manages to push into the 26,700 area by Wednesday or maybe this week, anytime? To me, that would be really strong action. That would say that there's a really good chance that in this move now, rather than a little later, kind of more uh, May, late May, early June, it gets to the new high. But then we could have a, a deeper consolidation, more time and price. So I'd prefer to see some kind of a pullback now. Now, this is so intriguing because if you look at the foreign markets, this is go to the D, uh, let's go to the GB. DOW. So this is the Dow. This is not the this is not the FTSE 100, but this is based on the FTSE 100. It's the Dow, Dow Jones UK Stock Index has exactly the same chart formation. So I'm going to call this a G. It'll be re recycled if it can go higher. But it's trading at 334.69. Most importantly, look at the weekly chart. It's gone to a leg D, and that, and MACD and stochastic are fabulous. 
But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of a pullback, maybe going to this candle right here, this long legged doji candle of the 11th of, Dece of <laughs> December, the 11th of April, uh, between 333 and 331. And it's at 334 right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of a pullback. There maybe even dips down to the 330 level. So all I'm saying is fabulous action going on. It's just a, a stealth, mega bull market. And when I did my webinar a couple of times, now, when I did the webinar just uh, last week, not a webinar, but a live, uh, um, uh, I was a guest speaker at the AAII. I said, there's just silence. Very few people are willing to actually talk. Well, I asked them to raise their hands, 90 something people, to raise their hands on how many people have had anyone talk about the stock market at any gathering they've had over the last six weeks. Not one person raised their hands. So let's just say that there were five, but they didn't. That's all. Nothing. Silent bull market. I'll be right back with a, a very vocal. Uh... Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks, we're back, and let me just finish that message. Okay, so what we're looking at here is that I said that Great Britain holding very nicely up at the higher end of its range, uh, but it's about two-thirds, I'd say. I don't think it's a six, quite 60%. Maybe it is 60%. From the uh, all-time high to the low of December, very good uh, single leg A to the upside. And if you look at the D E D O W, that's the where did that go? Oh, I typed it into the den by mistake. Oops. D E D O W. You're looking at uh, this is leg C. Oh, it's only a leg C. 
in the uh, there it is. This is the the DAX. The DAX looks like you make a a little a little bit of a just a fractional new high. Maybe go to a D and then it should be pulling back. And this is a leg C in the weekly chart. Monthly chart doesn't even look close to the Great Britain chart. Isn't that interesting? Great Britain has had such a, the UK index has had such a big rally. And let's see what the British pound is doing. But all that noise and everything, yeah, British pound is, whoa, 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 sorry. Didn't mean to laugh at the British pound. But it is, I, I, it was a little surprising because I didn't expect it to be, I thought there was a bit of a rally. It was a bit of a rally, but not much. The British pound at 1.30 right now. It better not start to trade in the 1.29s because that says, uh-oh, H pattern. And then you're going to have a quick test of the 1.285 level. So, ah, uh, got to watch this closely. Platinum. Platinum, fabulous move. Looks to me like it's going for leg D today or tomorrow. That would be above the 920.40 high of the 8th of April. Go to leg D. There's the Chapman Way falling X formation. It can go to a one to one above it if it breaks out, which it's doing. And then it goes like this. You go once, you click it, you go twice. And then it says the expansion should take, I mean, you're always very conservative, first of all. Take you to, yep, it's done that. And now you take the actual line itself, and that says it should go to 925.80 on the continuous contract of the platinum palladium, P A L L. This is the Aberdeen physical palladium. Says that this rectangle formation is going to get an upside test right here. You remember, I just drew that in the E mini, uh, and then it broke the, the bottom part. Uh, so this says, the price of 134.41, actually 135 pre-market, up 0.59, says that if it goes above 136.83, uh, that starts a new leg. That'll be A, B, leg B. Um, if you look at the, month, the weekly chart, that says, uh-oh, just a lower level rectangle formation forming here. Aberdeen Physical Palladium, it needs very much to get to the 140. If it gets to 140, 142 this week that's really good action uh it's going to be tough in that based on the uh technicals in the weekly although the technicals in the daily have turned up nicely watching that closely look at wheat does wheat oh terrible action down six and a quarter at uh 438 but it hasn't taken out the 427 low that was made uh, earlier in march <laughs> it looks like it wants to. Let's see what soybeans are doing. Soybeans also um, negative down two and three quarters at A77 three quarters. Uh oh, look at that rectangle. You remember, rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. So this this is at 877. If it pulls back below 875, that low of eight, ooh, 851, that was made back in September would be retested. Let's see what corn is doing. Uh, corn also very weak today, down two and a half at 3.56. So we have an ETF that is based on the agriculturals. Uh, it just went negative yesterday on Friday, probably going to be a little more negative today. Uh, we have a little wider stop than normal, uh, just because I want to see if these grains can get some traction to the upside. We've never been in the grains before. It's I wouldn't say an experiment, but it is a test of us for a newfound um, position, something we've never traded. So we'll see what happens there. Okay, oil. Oil at this particular moment is trading up huge, up 155 at 65.62. Now, this is getting to an area that I thought would be very, very strong resistance. Actually, 65.20s was kind of the limit, I thought, on the upside. This is very good action. It is in a leg, so that's... 6490, this is the continuous contract, 6472. So this is new leg C in the weekly chart, trying to go, it is, it's going up nicely above the 200, no, it is just going above the 200 period moving average in the weekly, the orange line. MACD strong, stochastic strong. I've been talking about this uh, for a little while, saying I love the action of crude oil. I think it's very good for the economy and everything. It's saying there's a demand, and this is a false indication because of constraints etc but I, I think this is important so i'm putting this in as a as an f right now but i also have to consider that there's a chapman wave instant restart right there so i immediately have to say if the macd goes positive today it's just a little negative if it goes positive and the stochastic range 
remains in the 83% or higher area, I just have no choice but to put this in as an alternative count as an F slash B. That would be really positive. Just to be careful and to be saying it went above the rectangle formation, it should have pulled back, uh, it touched maybe a little bit of the top of this peak E right here, E slash A, of 64.90, maybe 64.93, maybe 65.10, and then pull back? No, this is very good action. Have to consider the potential breakout. Crude oil is acting very, very well. Um, I was also asked, oh, EUR, USD, did I do that? I don't think I did. The euro dollar, um, euro is up a little bit. It's up 0 0.0097 at 1.125. It's just stuck in this range. Weekly chart really looks bad. I did mention, and I circled, this little candle right here, you remember? This little candle, the doji candle of four weeks ago, I said, that's going to be very important because a break under that would be very negative. Holding above it says, there's a chance that you make this very big bowl formation to the upside. And look, monthly chart with a week or so to go, I oh, know it's more than a week, um, is at is making a doji candle. So just watching the euro, my suspicion is the euro needs more work. The dollar needs to make that final push to the upside. And then I think you can have a much bigger rest if it doesn't really break massively to the upside. Let me just do it once again, see where the dollar is. The dollar is now just down two cents. Has the look of wanting, wanting to go to the 9780s, maybe even 9780s, wow. Maybe even touch 98 before it has a breather. That'll be leg D in the weekly chart, leg C in the monthly. Whew, this is going to be very interesting. Okay, a couple of things that I, the questions I had. Um, BSD back up, yeah, okay. Um, Brent, I, I did that, I did that. Okay, okay uh, something that I haven't looked at for a little while is I wanted to show you Hack. Hack is the ETF, the Prime Cyber Security ETF. It had a pullback from the 41.45 high that was made at just double check. 41, 41.40, high that was made three days ago, well, three sessions ago, and that was leg C at an all-time high. I, I'm calling this, is this a brand new move to the upside? Is this leg A in the chapter where we, you go to an A and it's very strong? You could go B, C, and D to the upside. I'm just being conservative right now. I'm still going to put that in. I'm putting it in as a G slash A. I just need... It's just a little hard to believe that from December we've had four months and this is a single leg A at an all-time high still to go to a B and then a C and then a D. I suspect in the end that might happen, but I'm just being a little cautious here. Hack at 40.19 should pull back to the 39.38 level, then we'll reassess. I'll be back straight after these important messages. Bowser Chapman, Tiger, Dick Nick. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks, we're back. Basil Trap and Tiger Editions Hour. This is the early edition being recorded for a replay at noon, since I won't be able to make it at noon. So look at this. this is, I, I think this is really interesting. Ford. Ford is off its low. It goes down to under 750 just uh, December. Now it's trading at 955. In fact, 959 pre market up four cents. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wait a minute. Things are so bad in the, in the uh, auto industry that Ford has bounced, what is this, two points? I mean, that's a 30-something percent gain. Hey, very nice. What is happening here? I, I like the chart. The chart looks good. I'd love to see it pull back, retest the 927, 929 area, 927, where the moving averages are in the daily chart on the left. Um, the, the middle one, the week, look at the MACD and stochastic. Stochastic's at 89%. Hey, that's very good. Look at the monthly, even it's starting to improve. I, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, wait a minute. I, I keep reading about the auto industry, the auto industry under tremendous pressure. General Motors is in leg D, going from the 36s to 40, 10% gain. Very nice. Uh, hey, I, <laughs> this is pretty darn good. Uh, trading right now at 40.30. Uh, monthly chart actually doesn't look too bad. Things are looking up in certain sectors. I I like that because it's saying that in the infrastructure of the country, things that have been very important over the years, like the water, like the big cyclicals, like the water industry. Let's look at this. Uh, 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 not too bad. It's SLX is, uh, Steel had a very nice run from the 3366 low of December. And it's going to the 42s now. It's trading at 40.27. It's a start. It's 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 important. I want to see by September. I want to see the steel Van Eck vectors ETF, not not at 40.27, not at 36. I want to see it up at the 44 level or higher. 51.92 was the was the May high, and a peak F in the monthly chart, and a 51 down to. Uh, 33, I'd say that's a pretty big decline. I want to see it coming back. This is really important. Infrastructure, look at this, infrastructure. One of my favorite stocks that we never own. It's just, it never, look, just gets away, look at this. Where were you supposed to buy? This is a peak A, it goes to a low earlier than the others. It was in October. It goes down to the 37 area. It, it goes, it rallies to 44, pulls back in December to 38. And then now it's 5323 all time high. And I have to call those peak C1, peak C2, peak C3 uh, in, the, in the monthly charts. I don't think this is a D. I think this is a brand new leg B. G, G, G. Graco Inc. What does Graco do? This is a pure infrastructure stock. This is, this is fantastic action. Where do you get in? Look, it makes, it makes that peak B the week of the 7th of December. It pulls back 
to the week of the 28th of December to 38.59, and then rallies up, makes a little peak at 42.50. For one week, it pulls back, has a high of 42.95. Oh, no, it can't wait there. What it does is it pops up, and from that moment on, leg B is underway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it re reactivates that leg B, and then goes starts at 45.12. It goes back to the original notation, and that becomes C, and this is a floating leg C. And what does it do? It goes a new high, a recovery high in the week of the 15th, new high in the week of the 22nd, and every single week up until last week, it makes a new recovery high. This is called a floating letter in the Chapman wave. So this floating letter goes C, 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 leg, C, leg, C, leg, C. And unless there's no new high this week, in other words, the high of uh, 54.30 from last week, if that's not taken out, I don't know how it's not going to be at least touched, but let's just say it's not touched all week. That would make this a, a G slash C in the daily chart and a peak C in the weekly. And that says, okay, it could pull back where? Maybe 53 goes down to the 51, maybe touches 50.50. .50. Um, this is fantastic. So things are really happening that you don't hear about in the nightly news. They don't say, hey, the economy in certain areas is doing fantastically. Um, the jobless numbers are the, the lowest in decades and decades. No matter how you you can say, oh, but this and oh, but that, you could take off 20%. It's still a fantastic number. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, the public hasn't really been able to talk about it. Now, I, I, suspect, I have my reasons for why they don't. And the, the reason is probably because if they do say the economy is good, a lot of people will look askance at them and say, oh, I, 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 you mean Trump is doing a good job? Who cares? Whatever, it doesn't matter who's there. This is what's important, is that the economy seems to be doing very well at this time. Needs a bit of a breather, in my opinion, just a little bit of a rest. But uh, this is great action. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Remember, with the last administration, never ever said markets doing fantastic under us. I never understood that. They were doing very well. The market was doing fantastic. Take credit for it. Okay. Next thing we're looking at here is the TLT. The TLT is the uh, Lehman 20-year Treasury Bond Fund. It's trading at 122.73, down 17 cents. Uh, we're going to be watching this closely, and I'll tell you why. If at any time this week you start to see the bonds, this is the this is really a bellwether or benchmark, the TLT. If it starts to trade in the 123.80 to 124.10 level, with the market pulling back, that says if you are looking at um, money flowing from the, uh, call it the volatility of stocks, volatility means down in the stock market terms, going into the security circle safety of bonds, that says watch the bonds. Because if bonds start to trade back, uh, go up, it means probably money's coming out of stocks going into bonds. But what if the, if, the, if the yields kind of stay the same and the bonds stay about where they are in the 122s that don't do very much? That's, that just says, all right, a little bit of a pullback. But if you start to see the bonds go down to the 121 area, it says, hey, wait a minute. This market rally is not yet finished. It's still got some work to do this week. So I'm watching this. Use it as a benchmark. I did a thing on the VIX index over the weekend to say the VIX index looks to me like it's just ready for a bit of a bounce. I said, oh, it's up 13. It's at 13.31 right now, up dollar twenty-two. That's a little too quick, too soon when you just be making recovery highs. Anyway, if the if the yield if the VIX index starts to go, let's put this as a package. If the VIX index at any point this week starts to trade at 14.10, uh, sorry, 14.80 to 15.10 and then closes at the high with the market weak. That says a little more to go on the downside in the market, a little more on the upside for the VIX index. But what I was looking at is there's this uppercase A pattern in the weekly chart. I, I should put it in right now. Let me just see if I can do that if I have time. Yep, I do have time. There it is. This is the Eiffel Tower pattern, straight up, straight down. 
Let me just do this, make it 48, make it red, and you'll know exactly what I mean as the bell goes. We're about to take another break for the final section coming up. See this A pattern right here? That A fits in beautifully over there. Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. This is just about ready with the doji candle of last week. They have a little bit of a balance of tech. We'll see if that works out. I'll be right back. That's a trap. And pack the emissions hour. The futures are down. Dow futures are down 90. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Hi, folks. Final segment of this uh, early morning show, which will be uh, recorded and played back at noon. At this point, the Dow futures are down 101 at 26,465. Intra, intraday, intra night, over the night, it made a new recovery high. It went to 26,629, and now it's pulled back sharply to 26,465. My suspicion, and only a suspicion, but we're trying to trade it for my traders, for my um, opening call subscribers, my daily newsletter, very intensive newsletter. Uh, we're looking at some kind of a pullback, a little height, just a little breather that I'm anticipating, and we've prepared for that. Uh, by particular positions, we've got trying to keep all our long positions. I like the places that we're in. I like what we've got. How to hold it is going to be a little tough here, but we're trying to do that and ameliorate some downside by taking some short position action. But this is what I'm looking at. I suspect that the, we're talking about the, our future. So it's always ironic. Here you are doing the morning show. It looks very negative, maybe by noon this afternoon or one o'clock this afternoon. 
Everything's reversed. The Dow's up 40. I don't think so. It needs a bit of a breather. 120-minute chart. Everything looks like it. So together with that, together with the E-mini, which is down now uh, 10. Let me just check. Yep, 10.75 10 at 28.99. I think this is a peak F in the Chapman Wave methodology. Uh, so there's a bit of a pullback. I wouldn't be surprised if the 28.80, we're at 28.99 right now. 28.80 to 28.75 28 area is the first real test of support. Strong, beautiful move in the weekly, but there's a doji candle from last week. So if there's no new high in the futures above uh, 29,000, sorry, 2923.50, um, then we're probably making a peak C in the weekly and yeah, a bit of a pullback. That's all. If you look at the NQ, which is the uh, NDX 100 trading vehicle, uh, peak E two days, three days ago, I think it could pull back. It's at 76.71, 76.13 is the 14 period moving average. So somewhere between 76.20 to 76.13, that's gonna be a big test of support. So just real short term, pull back, let's see what happens. And uh, stay tuned, you've got, if you're listening right now, you're going to get Larry Pazavento coming up, fabulous show, and then programming all day. And if you're listening at the one o'clock time frame, Steve Rose will be coming in. And um, check out my opening calls, my daily newsletter. Have a great day.